<laughs> hey, y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean this week. And uh, Bobby's here with me, and we're talking about Christmas. Yeah. All right, so you know Christmas time, love Bobby. Mm -hmm. I love Christmas, too. It's just a little hard when, you know, we've been blessed with so much. It's hard to figure out what to buy folks, you know? Is that what it's about? No, it's not. It's a little but over commercialized. We've all but, been kind of sucked into that, though, Bobby. You know what, though? Nowadays, with the internet, you could really get a lot of things without ever even. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know. So anyway, you know, I do the turkeys and the hams and all that for Christmas. I mean, for Thanksgiving, but for Christmas, I am jonesing for that beef. Really? Yes. So this Christmas, Michael will be making his shrimp stuffed uh, twice baked potatoes. Speaking of turkeys and hams. Yes. Yeah, speaking Groover. of <laughs> Groover. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be doing that potato. So it doesn't matter what meat I have, those potatoes go with anything. And they're so delicious. Twice baked potatoes? Is that twice what you said? Twice baked. Yeah, stuffed Man. with shrimp. Oh, I love them. I so know. Much. They're so good. So I think this year I'm doing tenderloins. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'll do the standing rib roast, mm -hmm. y'all. But this year I think I'm going to do the tenderloins because it's so easy. And do you know you can get a, 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 you can have your tenderloin cooked in like 25 minutes. Yeah. They're, if you like it medium rare. Yeah. They're not, not difficult to do a tenderloin. And on Positively Paula, oh. you know, I shared uh, a beef tenderloin recipe on there that Phil Hadaway shared with me. Cracked black pepper. Yes, so just coated in cracked black pepper and uh, the zest of an orange on top. Mm -hmm. And uh, you rub it with a little baking soda. It It's phenomenal. Some of the best recipes are the simplest. Yes. And when you have a good piece of meat, well, you don't really need to no, over season no. it. But th this recipe is just wonderful. And you know, it really is a formula about the bacon soda and the orange zest. You Why know, bacon just, soda? I don't I don't know. Um that. it's to make it it's to make your meat kind of sticky so that your orange zest and your black peppers will stick to it. Oh. To stick to your meat. And uh so I think I'm gonna do that. And the hardest part about the recipe, y'all, is cracking those black peppercorns, mm. the whole peppercorns. Could you not just you use a could a you lot. not just use a No, it's not the same thing, son. Hmm. You have to cook off your peppers, your peppercorns first. All right. And then uh, how do you crack them? No, no, you beat them up first. And how? Uh, how do you how do you do it? Well, we normally just take one of my little black skillets, you know, and and pound do a bunch them that at, way. A bunch at the time. A bunch at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I got a little coffee grinder. So I'm gonna try it in my coffee grinder for in a Christmas. pepper mill. What grinds it too fine? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Because you want those peppercorns just almost cracked in two. Yeah, it's real big. Yes, you don't want them crushed. Mm -hmm. And because you've cooked them, you cooked away a lot of the heat, like the oil in the skillet. Mm -hmm. So you just taste if the, you you taste taste the pepper. If you taste that all, it will set your mouth afire. Really? I don't do a yes. lot of uh, black pepper or any, but anything. But it's not that hot on your meat. But I've had Phil's time. recipe for that tenderloin. Uh -huh. oh, oh, it's boy. delicious, too. There is um, a lot of people serve either a standing rib roast or tenderloin. I think a lot of y'all... Uh, by the time Christmas rolls around, you're kind of tired of the turkey and ham. Yeah, I think tenderloin is pretty traditional yeah, for Christmas. But I've got a recipe for the perfect, the foolproof standing rib roast. You'll have to get the cookbook. No. <laughs> it's Rats. in the second cookbook, son. I think it's the second one, maybe the first one. You got so many books, but, you don't even know where you're at. I know. I I get so them. many recipes, I can't even tell you. You're going to have to buy the book. I get confused. <laughs> I get confused. Can't remember but all the recipes. But if you will follow that recipe to the T, uh, because, you know, a standing rib roast can really, really, really be expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, because of the bone and everything. They're just, they're, they weigh a lot. And you, you don't want to spend that much money on a piece of meat and then 
Run, Run it. it. <laughs> so if you will, you can look up the recipe on the website. I'm sure foolproof standing rib roast. Yeah. And it is will come out perfect. I don't care if you cook in a five pound uh, rib roast or a 10 pound rib roast. Mm. Let's take a break. You look like you're going to sleep. Um. <laughs> Everybody has a favorite holiday tradition. And for me, I love giving gourmet goodies from harryanddavid.com. Harry and David has something delicious for everybody on your list, including me. In fact, I've got ahead of the holidays, and I enjoyed preparing a wonderful fresh pear salad with those delicious juicy pears. Entertaining over the holidays is so easy, especially when you can gather all around and enjoy treats from Harry and David. And right now, Harry and David is offering you 20% off your holiday purchase. That's 20% off all the Christmas gifts and goodies that the lucky person on your list can handle. Sending any of Harry and David's delicious goodies is a perfect way to show your friends, family, and co-workers just how much you're thankful for them. And whether they're a chocolate lover, a late night snacker, or a wine lover, or a holiday hostess, Harry and David has something for everybody to love. And I think 20% off your holiday order is an amazing deal, but you have to hurry because it expires Friday. Harry and David is part of the 1-800-Flowers family of brands and the company that I go to for all my holiday gift giving and my entertaining needs. To get 20% off select holiday favorites now, go to harryanddavid.com, click the radio icon, and enter code PAULA. That's harryanddavid.com. Click the radio icon and enter code P-A-U-L-A for 20% off. Hurry, y'all, because the offer ends Friday. All right, so welcome back. Uh, Christmas Day, it'll be like chaotic at my house. It's the best. It is so good. So, but let's talk about the food. What should I bring? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You can bring a little appetizer or something, but... You know, I keep that meal so simple. It'll be a salad, beef, potatoes, and bread. Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna do? But so let me tell you, last night, okay. okay. Yesterday afternoon, Maddie called me. Matthew is Jamie and Brooke's youngest son, y'all. He called and he said, "Guinea, have you bought Jack and me anything for Christmas yet?" And I said, "Yes, I have." So by 45 minutes later, I hear a knock on the door, and it's Jamie and Maddie. And Jamie said, Maddie just wanted to come visit you. And look under the tree. I said, well, that's wonderful, Maddie. I'm so glad you did. And he looked up at me. He says, Guinea, are those presents wrapped? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, son, they're not wrapped yet. And his little face just fell. Uh, Did he want to make sure he didn't see them, or he wanted to see if he could open some? He wanted to touch them. Okay. He wanted to touch them and guess mm -hmm. what they were, but I didn't have any wrapped yet. And I said, but you're going to love it, because I've heard you talk about these. Well, how many did you buy me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, one time he told Henry, another one of our grandchildren, not he spoiled said, at all, any of these people. No, they're not. <laughs> uh, but the grandparents are supposed to. So uh, Maddie goes up to Henry one day, and I think it was Jamie happened to overhear. Maddie says, listen, when you want something, Henry, don't ask your mama. Go to Guinea. Mm, <laughs> learning. <laughs> learning young. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maddie's already got my number. Hmm. Uh, so and your phone number. He's calling you, asking <laughs> you if you've bought his gifts yet. Yeah. Then he's coming over to make sure that you've bought his yes. gifts. Yes, yes. So, you know, I've got those huge stockings that each grandchild mm -hmm. has with their name on yeah, it. Yeah, they're awesome. And, uh, oh, they're so much fun. And so I'm thinking about putting, putting the stockings out so they can see their gifts, mm. but not being able to open it till Christmas Day. What do you think? I think it's... 
lots of times. I think that's a good idea. I don't wrap everything. I don't think it's going to work out that way. <laughs> well, Jamie said that they finally put a present to Jack and Maddie under the tree. It's about time. You have forgotten what it's like to be five years old. Apparently. Oh, I remember. <laughs> but uh, Jamie said as soon as he came in and saw his present under the tree with his name on it. Trembling. He Uh-huh. He walked around with it for six hours. Mm. Six hours rubbing it, shaking it, trying to guess what it was. And finally, I think he went off to another room and opened it. <laughs> He couldn't stand it. Six hours, y'all. <laughs> he oh, to be, a, to be a kid. I know. He fondled that Christmas present. I know it. We we just forget the excitement that yeah. you feel at five or six years yeah. old. Leaving those cookies and milk out. I yes. love Christmas growing up. I know. It was I great. still love it. I know. I do, too. But um, for different reasons now. So, yeah. What what kind of appetizer are you gonna bring? Date paste Date and paste. Uh, fig leaves. <laughs> oh, that's no. I good. you know I don't know. I just did. You know, it, it's fun to sometimes bring things. I don't know. You oh, know what I do? You know what I do? That's good. I do a uh, roast chicken and and uh, a chicken and roast vegetables dish that's so good. Do you remember I, I brought it to your house? You one time? brought it. You brought it one Thanksgiving or oh, Christmas. Oh boy, was that good. It was delicious. Not bringing that. No, don't bring that because that's bring like that. a meal. Mm -hmm. Just bring an appetizer. Okay. I'll think of something. Well, listen, if y'all have any questions. Well, this has been amazing. I know. Hadn't it been amazing? <laughs> if y'all... Did you get my gifts yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are they wrapped? Can I come shake them? No. <laughs> so, let me tell you what I did one year, son. I was 15 years old, and Mama and Bubba had gone to the grocery store. So, that made Bubba eight years old, mm -hmm. so... I didn't have to keep him that day. He went with Mama. So I had the house all to myself. It was like a week or two before Christmas, and all the gifts were under the tree. You bad thing. I did. You opened every one of them. I went in there in the living room. and You I opened so Bubba's too, didn't you? No, I didn't open Bubba's. I didn't show what he got. You should have opened Bubba's. I opened every one of my gifts, and I was so mad when I got through because I didn't want didn't any of that stuff. Wanted. I didn't get what I wanted. You turned. <laughs> and I you rewrapped them all? Yes. I mean, I did it so carefully, you couldn't tell. Did and you ever tell your parents? Did they know? I probably told Mama eventually, but... Mm. I'm said, disgusted. I was disgusted. I was so you, disgusted with But myself. you were disgusted with your parents because they didn't get you what you wanted. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much, but it, Terrible. it ruined Christmas for me. You ruined Christmas for you. I ruined Christmas <laughs> for me, and I said I would never, ever do that again. <laughs> never, ever. It would remain a surprise. Uh, so for all you kids out there that are taking from Paula, don't open your gifts. Don't open your don't gifts. Ruin don't ruin Christmas for your family. Christmas. <laughs> it's not the only ruined sad. Christmas we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> uh, well, I, I hope y'all are. <laughs> I hope y'all are getting caught up on your Christmas shopping and you got your menu all planned, and that you're going to be surrounded by people that you love, love, love. It's the best time of the year. Uh huh. It Enjoy is. it. It is. We're all conscious of uh, how fortunate we are and how much we have. Uh, to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. So if y'all have any questions on your menus or or some recipes, you can always go Buy the on. book. That's what no, you told me. No, <laughs> no you can go to PaulaDean.com and uh, check out some recipes there. Maybe it can help you well, out some trying good to ones. decide. There's some good ones. Yeah, there is some great ones. But like I said, if you're thinking about that standing rib roast for Christmas, check out that Foolproof standing rib roast recipe. I'm thinking about that standing rib roast recipe for Christmas. Oh, you're bringing standing rib to my house? No. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. You are. <laughs> I'm trying to work with a brat over mm. here. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> standing rib roast sounds great. I know. You gonna make it? I may do that. Do I don't it. know. Either Just tenderloin or standing rib roast. Just do it. I'm gonna surprise you. Don't think you. about it. 
Don't open it until Christmas Day. Date paste. That's what you're getting. Mm -mm. I don't want date paste. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Everybody has a favorite holiday tradition, and for me, I love giving gourmet goodies from HarryandDavid.com. Harry and David has something delicious for everybody on your list, including me. In fact, I've got ahead of the holidays, and I enjoyed preparing a wonderful fresh pear salad with those delicious juicy pears. Entertaining over the holidays is so easy, especially when you can gather all around and enjoy treats from Harry and David. And right now, Harry and David is offering you 20% off your holiday purchase. That's 20% off all the Christmas gifts and goodies that the lucky person on your list can handle. Sending any of Harry and David's delicious goodies is a perfect way to show your friends, family, and co-workers just how much you're thankful for them. And whether they're a chocolate lover, a late night snacker, or a wine lover, or a holiday hostess, Harry and David has something for everybody to love. And I think 20% off your holiday order is an amazing deal, but you have to hurry because it expires Friday. Harry and David is part of the 1-800-Flowers family of brands and the company that I go to for all my holiday gift giving and my entertaining needs. To get 20% off select holiday favorites now, go to harryanddavid.com, click the radio icon, and enter code PAULA. That's harryanddavid.com. Click the radio icon and enter code P-A-U-L-A for 20% off. Hurry, y'all, because the offer ends Friday.